Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today's video will be on how to control your computer with your iPod Touch. Okay, to get this started, you're going, going to need to go to your App Store. And you want to search for VNC Lite. Okay, search for that in the App Store. It's a free download, the Lite version and install that. As you can see, I've got it installed. There it is there up there. The light version. Okay, that's all we need that for now. Now, go to your computer. Your desktop or your laptop or anything. You, we're going to need to download Type VNC Viewer. To do this, go to Mozilla Firefox or your Internet Explorer. And up the top, we're going to put the link. I'll put this link in the description for you. So you can automatically just click on it. After once this has loaded, you want to download this very first one for Windows. So just click Download. This will take about 20 seconds or so to give it your save file. So you can save the file. So just bear with me. Here it is here, press save file, I'm not going to download it again because I've already got it, cancel, exit your window, go to wherever you saved it to, it could be a desktop but I usually save my stuff somewhere else, there it is there, type me in here, click on that, and there's the setup file there. Double click on that. Go next, next, and then next again. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it installed. So there's no point in me doing it again. After once you've done that, let's follow all the steps, and then then after once you've got it installed, you want to go into all programs. And you want to find there it is there, type VNC, that one. You want to go across and you want to run launch v type VNC server. Now as you can see, there's the type VNC came down the bottom here. This one here. Double click it. As you can see here, it's come up with set a password and everything. You're going to have to set a password. So I'm going to set a password just hi. Apply. Okay. Okay, after that, you're going to want to go back to your iPod. You have to have that VNC server running on your computer to access your computer with your iPod. After that, you want to click on your VNC app. After that, go to Mac and Edit Connections. Okay? After once, well, you're going to Edit Connections, okay? Um, I'm going to move mine away because I don't want you to see my IP. As you can see here, it's got one of the computers. Just press on one of those. Then the display like this should come on my IPs at the top. Then, after once you've put in your IP, I'll just show you right now how to get your IP. You want to put your IP in from your computer into where it says enter IP on your iPod. Just double click the little computer things and go to support and it will be in there okay after once you've done that it will tell you to enter VNC password and that will be the password that you just set on the VNC server so mine was high 
so I enter high. After once you've done that, just press um, back on the top of the screen, after once you've entered your password, and hit connect. Give it a bit of time to load. I usually go side view. As you can see here, I've got my desktop. As you can see, look. There's Battlefield and everything there. Type me here. That's exactly the same. What's on my desktop right there? And to prove that to use, watch my little start bar down the bottom here. When I press it on the iPod Touch. Look at that, didn't even use the mouse, okay? It's come up like that on there. I love this. I'll go into my, you can pinch in like that to view larger. I'll go into my iTunes, open up my iTunes. You can, then you can go, as you can see, then I'll play music. And that will go through my computer. Minimize. Yeah, and that's how you control your computer with your Apple Touch. It's really nifty. You can put up the keyboard to type in anything in your web browser. Um, and yeah, just close up top like that. There's menu. Then after once you're done everything you want to do just press disconnect disconnect here and that's about it really nifty program I like to go sit out watch TV uh, I've got some downloads running just access it from my iPod see how they go so really nifty program um, please subscribe rate and comment to this video thanks